Hey, what's up? It's Brandon. Um, if you've uh, if you watched the Yogs cast, uh, then you've found out that recently they've uh, released their own mod pack called the Yogs Box or Yog Box or whatever. And um, this is a little uh, just for people who've been having trouble. This is a little tutorial on how to uh, install it and get it working on your Minecraft single player, just to make it awesome. So you want to go to this URL um, because you know it, it can be kind of hard to find. Sometimes, sometimes I find these things, so I'll just give you the URL right now. So, um, also, it, it's below, also, in the, uh, little description. And, um, I'm gonna go down here. I wanna see the little Mediafire link right here, as it says, but then you wanna click that. And, uh, if you haven't been to Mediafire before, all you do is just click this, and it's most of the time when you get something from Mediafire, there won't be any viruses involved unless it's just unsecure, but it's, you know, it's fine. The Augs cast made it. They, they don't want to give you viruses. So uh, you want to download that, and you want to save it to your desktop. And uh, when you've done that, next thing you want to do is um, you can do two things. You can either ignore all this crap. One thing that you can do is um, you could go down to options here, and uh, you can click force update. Uh, like you click options, I have it covered up right now, but um, you just click options and there's a little force update button. You click that and then what it'll automatically do, uh, it says will, it'll say will force and then you uh, click login and then it just updates it and it gives you a fresh jar file, a fresh bin. Um, yeah, just a fresh, it just gives you a brand new fresh jar file which you'll need to install the mod correctly and get it to work. Um, and it, uh, also, another thing you can do if you already have mods on your um, if you already have mods on your uh, Minecraft uh, on Minecraft on your single player, you want to type in percent app data percent. What? Okay, there we go. We'll press enter. It's up in the little browser, and you're like, this is for Windows. So, if you have a Mac, I have no idea how you're supposed to do this. And the first thing you'll probably see is um, dot Minecraft it's Windows 7 too. So if you're on Vista, you might have to find it a different way. Anyway, um, yep, you'll see a little dot Minecraft folder. Uh, if you have any mods, uh, what you'll have to do is open up Minecraft, get any, get any saves out or texture packs out that you want to keep, and then uh, you'll have to just delete your entire dot Minecraft, and then uh, exit out, and then open up Minecraft again. And uh, you'll have to type in this. You're, you'll have to type in your um, little uh, thing again. You'll have to type in your username and password again. But you won't have to do force update. You'll only have to just log in and it'll update it again. So there's two ways to do it. It's just it, it just depends if you have mods or not. Um, it's just kind of annoying waiting for it, isn't it? Because I already installed it before and I figured, hey, why not make a tutorial? So. I had to do, delete it again. So, by the time you have that saved to your uh, desktop, oh crap, I didn't, I probably did delete it, huh? Alright, so, I had to re download it. So, um, w when you have that on your desktop, uh, make a new folder. I already made one right here. It's called the Yog Box, but um, make a new folder by uh, going down to New Folder. Right click the screen, go down to New Folder. Name it whatever the hell you want. Um, open it up. Go to the little browser thing up here and, uh, click right there so then you get that and then uh, copy it and um, then right click this and uh, click extract all and if you can't do that uh, like you have to use some kind of extracting thing like a 7-zip or something um, something that you can use to extract it and, and uh, the destination will be um, just uh, like you just copy and paste it to that, to the destination bar thing. And you click extract or whatever, and it takes a long, long, long time to extract it. So when you have all that extracted into your folder, you already have the the, the cleared out jar and everything. You just open it up. You don't mess with any of this. You just click. Uh, I mean, you can read. You can use the README, but that's if you're not watching this. And the beginner's guide is on uh, the Millionaire mod, which makes like people like make their own, like, it's it gives you NPCs everywhere that make their own villages. So when you open it up, you have to open it up with Java, or, yeah, you have to open it up with Java, you have to make sure to, you'll see this, if you got it right. Um, if you didn't get it right, it'll just be completely blank, 
and then you'll click next and it'll give you like an error message so then you just click next and uh, this is where you pick the mods that you want you can pick whatever and uh, mo creatures might clutter you clutter up your game but uh, there isn't very much so um yeah oh yeah and this mod is awesome it makes stacked food edible so if you have a bunch of like apples stacked and you have to like you know individually pluck one out of the stack to eat it you don't have to anymore so that's just a little thing insomnia is really cool cuz it like make it just makes sleeping a way better experience cuz you can pick how long you want to sleep and then you can decide if you want that place to be your spawn point and then sky pirates um there are these little guys in airships that shoot arrows down at you and uh, mo creatures as i said it just puts a ton of different animals out there like bunnies and 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 sharks and piranhas and then millionaire as I said, makes you know, there's villagers that have their own currency and will trade with you, and there's villages all over the place, and they just build and they uh they advance, you know, like so. Technically, it's fun. Just like if you're bored and you have a ton of resources, it's fun to just give them, like, sell them all of your resources, so then they can build a huge village. And um, so after you're done with all that, click next, and uh, after you're done picking the mods that you want, click next, and then it'll begin to install, and it's taking an incredibly long time for me for some reason. I'm kind of rushing through this because I have to go soon, so I'm just putting this out there because I care about you guys. So, click done, and uh, there you go. You should open up Minecraft, and... Um, Log in there. And then uh, you should see that. Uh, like, it gives you a little extra thing. But, like, if you're a huge fan of the Yogg's cast, then this is definitely for you. And then uh, they made a little painterly pack just for this. Um, painterly. I see a lot of people using painterly. Uh, and then there you go. So, there you go. If you just really love the Yogg's cast, this is made by them. So, you know. I... Heart Yogg's cast. Because I forgot how to do the little heart thing. And, um, <clears throat> just, uh, yeah, so, um, this is just a test to see if it worked for me. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of how to install it, and it should work for me, because this is actually my first time. Yep, it did. It'll say, Millionaire, um, blah 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 is loaded. Uh, you can press V to see where um, a place is. Oh, and in the World Seed, I forgot to tell you this. If you want to spawn, like, right next to a village in the World Seed, you can type B. And then you'll spawn uh, exactly next one. Just B. Just a lowercase B. So, yeah. Um, by the looks, I have spawned right next to a village, though, anyway. So, um... You probably will, anyway. They're everywhere. Uh, oh, good. I like it when they, they do this with the, with the shovels. All right, so yeah, that's uh how to download it. Um, yeah, that's how. Uh, holy crap, I've never seen this before. See, they built this themselves, and this guy's mining right now. See that? Awesome, huh? So yeah, that's uh how to install the Ogs box. Um, if you love the Ogs cast, then uh, yeah, then this is definitely for you. Um, thanks for watching.